Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today, honey, I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Gemini. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly tarot reading for August 9th to the 15th, let me know in the comments below, Gemini, which cards resonate with you and how they do, darling, because that is how I keep up with you is through the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, Gemini, or you just enjoy my vibe, honey, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Gemini, because it does help me out a lot, and I always appreciate it when you take that extra stuff to do that for me but remember the tarot readings are just here to give you some food for thought spec or perspective to be considering but never making the choices in your life gemini so remember that right i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you honey so let's get into your tarot reading prayer today gemini let's see what's going on for you this week right let's see what's up with my gemini's right enough of my spiel let's just get to the juice darling so we have the ten of swords coming in for you and then we have the four of swords as well Gemini come flying out, but I didn't feel like um, pulling it out uh, or keeping it out rather because I just didn't feel drawn to it. But uh, Ten of Swords, definitely uh, referencing some type of pain, uh, Gemini. Now with the Ten of Swords, this does also represent closures to things. So it does feel like... Um, what a weird imagery. I was just shown like a chessboard, but a final... Um, just only one piece there and it was like the king. Uh, it's, it's weird imagery that I have here. So it's almost as if, uh, Gemini, I'm getting this sense that it's like your last straw with something. It's just the impression that I'm getting. It's like your last straw with something. And now it feels like my Geminis are kind of ready to, um, really show, show like a different side of themselves. Right. Um, it feels like a, now I'm getting like a very much so like a intuitive message where it's just like Gemini, I feel as if for some of you guys, you guys have been really giving something a chance, really trying each time, even each time someone has just put a sword in your back, honey, you're just like, all right, you know what? Let me just give this another chance. Right. This another failure coming in, another obstacle coming in with this. And you're just like, all right, this is getting a little bit challenging now. Well, let me keep on trying. And it does feel as if like this sense of just like, uh, you've been soft on this situation for a very long time, Gemini, been extremely patient. And now, the, now these, if it's involving a person, they're about to be seeing a different side of a Gemini, right? They're gonna be realizing that it's not just all rainbows and sunshine and just forgiveness and be like, oh yeah, I forgive you. Now you're now Gemini, I'm getting to this place where it's like, for you, you're just like, okay, what's up, honey? You want to keep on doing this? We're about to, we about to square, square up. You want to be going, you want to take this out into the parking lot, honey? Right? Um, it does feel like you're very just checked out of the situation. But, well, checked out from how the treatment is. Because I do feel like for some of you Geminis, you still care about this. You still care about it. You still want the best for the situation, but you're kind of just fed up. That's really the energy I'm feeling. It's like you're fed up and you're, you know, you're finally at this point where you're putting your foot down. Yeah, I really do feel like you're putting your foot down in this situation. So let's get some clarifiers on this, Gemini. We have coming in here the Seven of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles as well as the Page of Cups, Gemini. So very much so, this is giving me a reading of where, definitely a person, this is definitely speaking of a person, Seven of Wands here and the Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> it's almost as if, uh, Gemini, you really want this connection to kind of like go the mile. You really want this to, like there, you want like a conversation to be had, right? I don't even like, and especially with that message of where you want a conversation to be had, Gemini, I don't know if this is like an energy where every time you try to bring up a problem with them, Gemini, they just get extremely sensitive or defensive and um, they start shutting down right um or they just always like dismissing of it it does feel as if you just struggle actually talking about the problem at hand or struggle actually you know just giving constructive criticism uh knight of pentacles seven of wands it just really showcases to me where you're just like it doesn't have to be this way honey right we can really if you want to put in the work in this connection in this thing like we can really make this work but it has to be a two-way street you know there has to be a little bit of give and take a you know a nice like exchange of things pretty much still six of pentacles energy right so how does this situation turn out for you gemini how does this situation turn out for you we don't want these cards we don't want these cards how does this situation turn out for my gemini's so I feel drawn to just do the back of the deck now. So we have here the Justice card coming in here with the Hanged Man, 
as well as the Nine of Cups coming in here. So how this situation really works out for you, uh, Gemini, I do kind of see uh, someone kind of coming around, uh, Gemini. Now, I have to be honest here. This could be in a situation, I really do see this as a possibility where some Geminis, you kind of realize that this is no longer worth it anymore. And if you do realize this, I do feel as if you realize this because another opportunity comes along, it presents itself to you. Um, that actually is balance, right? I talk about balance and then we bring up the Libra card, the Justice card, honey, right? Um, I feel as if something comes in and really uh, changes things up for you, Gemini. Um, in the sense of being like, you know, how this old other situation is, now you're looking at this new situation and you're just like, well, is this even worth it anymore, right? Is this old thing really worth uh, fighting for when this new thing coming in here seems to be really good, right? This comes in as like a new offer of something, right? For my Geminis, right? For as a narrative or more so just as an example how you would receive this energy. You know, maybe Gemini, you have been just craving like more affection, more attention when it comes to a connection. And you're just like, you know, you're just like, it shouldn't feel like this hard to really get some attention from you, right? <laughs> you know, you're just like, why is it so hard? Why is it like pulling teeth just for you to be like cutesy with me, just even for like an hour, right? And then, you know, you keep on having the struggle because I do feel like this has been like a long-term thing where it's just like consistently been bothering you. I don't feel like it's over one specific action necessarily. And, you know, obviously there's like a feather that uh, breaks the camel's back uh, kind of thing. But, you know, there was a lot of feathers, honey, before that camel's back was broken, right? Um, I do feel as if like something new comes in where you're just, that shows your worth, right? Even for like a job, like I get this sense of where it's like a new job opportunity presents itself. Honey, I don't know why this flies coming in here in my room right now so late at night um like a new job opportunity that pays better a new uh, connection that actually is fulfilling for you that actually you don't have to be begging to be having any type of engagement with it just feels like you get everything that you've been lacking in this old situation with this uh, you know kind of funny when you think about it because it's like you have the knight of pentacles here and then a different knight comes in the knight of cups right because the knight of pentacles admittedly well, it's a forward motion, right, Gemini? But it is the slowest moving night. So you may be a sense of impatience with it. Whereas the Knight of Cups, a little bit quicker, right? The Knight of Cups kind of adds a new kind of detail to the story that changes things up for you a little bit, uh, Gemini. I really do see this kind of coming in out of nowhere for you because the hanged man comes in where you're just kind of caught off guard and be like, well, when you, you're telling me that I could be getting paid this much if I went over here? You're telling me that I could actually find a person, a, find a man, find a woman that actually wants to engage with me and connect with me, honey, over here? This person over here wants to connect with me while I'm trying to have this other person, this raggedy old dusty person over here, this other knight trying to connect with me while I have this gorgeous knight over here also trying to give me something? Honey, you're, you know, it's very much so, Gemini, you're realizing that this is, this ain't nothing, this ain't nothing for you, honey, you're just like, huh. Oh. So let's get into a little bit more detail with this Knight of Cups. I feel inclined. We're going to do this in two ways for my Geminis that speak about this as a person because Knight uh, Cups represent uh, opportunities for people. Uh, we're going to speak on this and what the opportunity looks like, Gemini. And then we're going to speak on what, like, if, what this person would be like if this is a person. So let's get into this. We have the King of Swords. So... I want to do the other cards first, two more. So we have the King of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Wheel card. Did I even show you guys the King of Swords, uh, Gemini? Funny how you keep on having air energy in this as well for the second portion. Uh, could be another air sign, Gemini, right? I really don't want to neglect, obviously, with that Justice card. Like, I want to just say someone that has Libra in their chart or someone that just has a lot of air in their chart. But I do kind of see this as a situation. Gemini, let's get into this as opportunity. I do feel as if this is kind of, this is coming in to take you out from a hard place, from a place of struggle, right? Um, you go from that ten of swords in this old situation and this new situation comes at you while you're feeling very weighed down. Ten of wands is, is you have too much baggage, darling, right? We talk about the feather that breaks the camel's back, darling, and then I think this is like a yak. I don't know, girl, you, the animal, honey, animal with horns, and then, you know, it's like, if you put anything more on this animal, it's gonna crush them, right, and that's why she's carrying stuff as well, because she knows if she were to place it on there, she couldn't handle it anymore, um, 
So I do feel as if this opportunity comes in at the right time for you. Wheel of Fortune is just, this lets me know, Gemini, this has been in the works for a while. So this showcases to me that um, this situation, this old situation with this Knight of Pentacles has been deteriorating for a while, right? Because when it, how spirit will work is like once they are they're prepping you for a situation, prepping you for a path that they are kind of silently carving out for you. And so the way that they kind of readjust you, realign you, or set you up for this path is they start deteriorating things that you are right now investing energy into so you can move it on to something else so i really do feel like new opportunity comes forward to you when you most need it now if this is in terms of a person i really do stand strongly that they have a lot of air in their chart or it'd be very much so a person where you're just like wait you know you would anticipate them as being like a an air sign and then they just come out of the blue and just tell you that they're a taurus and you're just like what you're, i wouldn't you would guess that it would be like a taurus and the last thing right um so i see this person very much so just having a very clear understanding of air signs or at the very least of a gemini and i feel like that's why you guys click so well is because there's this understanding um for you maybe this is a sense of trauma bonding as well a new person coming in where you guys can relate to one another on just like issues that you guys have been dealing with right especially if you've been single gemini and you're just like oh, every single connection that i have every friendship that i try to make it just doesn't work out it just always brings me back to this point of pain back to this point of heaviness and then this other person comes in and you're just like you know what gemini i hear you i see you honey and i feel you on it because i am going through a similar thing i do feel like you guys just have a lot of similarities is the thing and that's why you would be surprised if they aren't an air sign and that's why you would kind of mistake them for an air sign and that's why they're kind of coming off as an air sign in these tarot cards uh gemini so very interesting so now let's get into uh what you don't see coming to you gemini these cards already coming out so what don't my gemini see coming towards them sun card coming in powerful card to be having two more eight of swords as well as knight of wands you're getting all the knights <laughs> darling um so gemini what you don't see coming kind of similar to libra um in the sense that what you don't see coming to you is that uh really a lot of positive things i see this eight of swords this is where you're feeling stuck right now you are i would say gemini's you're feeling pretty hopeless about the situation currently about with this knight of pentacles where you're just like kind of feeling like just doomed to this like dead end job doomed to this like dead end environment that really just isn't conducive to you or just stuck in this dead end connection or maybe some of you guys are just accepting and be like oh i guess i'm just not gonna have a friendship or a relationship that actually feels good right eight of swords just feels very stuck energy knight of wands and the sun card this again follows through in the sense that something comes in at the just the right time for you gemini that really just gives you reignites hope reignites your passion really just reignites you like it just is like is, is finally like feeling the rays of the sun for the first time after a long period of darkness after a long period of struggle gemini and with this knight of wands here it is coming up to you pretty quickly especially with that wheel of fortune there's a lot like this is building up quickly for you gemini i really wouldn't be surprised um if you start receiving um what i would say gemini because i do feel as if this person is connected to another person that you already know so if you are gemini um you have friends where you get invited to i don't know just something i really strongly suggest to you gemini if you can really just make yourself social and really tell your friends and be like hey do you have anyone you want to invite honey like i really do feel like you meet this person through a mutual connection um and it's through you guys locking eyes like some type of connection a text is had a facebook request a darling do people still use facebook something is had something triggers this right so uh let's get into this a little bit more right i want to clarify this a little bit Six of Swords, so this doesn't happen, Gemini, until you walk away from this Knight of Pentacles is the thing. So hold on. And the Magician card and the Death card. So yeah, Gemini, something I want to just tell you guys is stop fighting this, like, laying down the hammer. I feel like you kind of need to, Gemini, like, let your Gemini freak flag fly at this point and really... You know, don't worry about coming off as unhinged. I really do feel as if for you Geminis, you need to speak your truth with something. Speak your truth and really put a... 
it just feels like Gemini, you need to just, if this is about a person, you just be like, hey, you know, this isn't working out for me anymore. Give them that ultimatum. Be like, this is what I'm trying to create in my life, right? The magician card, you're trying to create in your life actively and they're holding you back, right? There's that resistance. Um, if this is about a job, you're just like, hey, I need to pay my bills better. I don't want to be at this dead end job anymore with just this pay. I want to be paid more. And so you kind of give them the ultimatum, Gemini, where you're just like, this is what I'm looking for. If you don't want this, if you can't match up to this, that's fine, but I'm going to keep it moving. Um, and I really do feel like, Gemini, once you keep it moving, once you really just lay your foot down, darling, um, this is when things start opening up for you greatly. So similar to Libras in the sense that a lot of stuff really starts happening for you, Gemini, once you are already in this process of leaving and like telling people, telling things to exit stage left or even you just exiting state to the stage left, um, exiting from the stage to the left. So yeah, now Gemini, before we close out this, Ooh, honey, this always happens whenever I, um, oh, honey talk a lot Gemini uh, I will have a bunch of gas or a bunch of air that I'm trying to come out and so I'm trying not to like belch on camera see let's see though Gemini what good things are in the works for you before we close out this tarot reading for this week for you Gemini what good things are in the works for my beautifuls Let's start with this one page of pentacles this one kept on popping up um, as well Gemini whenever uh, I was shuffling I kept on noticing it like sticking out um, in the deck and even admittedly I whenever I was splitting the deck I noticed this card like sticking out I didn't know which one it was but I noticed this I just felt drawn to this uh, deck sticking out so very much so reminiscent again uh, Gemini of I do feel as if like communication is coming for you someone's gonna be offering their pentacle and offers had uh, coming in I do just get the sense of new communication uh, for you Gemini and I do feel as if this new communication just opens you up to um, what could be right it helps you really um decide or helps you realize like it just feels like it helps you realize um that you don't have to be stuck into this one situation anymore or trapped in that situation two pentacles in the fool card uh again it's this weird message gemini where it's just like with this new thing while you really are open to it at the same time you also are just like still kind of like looking back and you're just like oh, what about this knight of pentacles i don't want to leave this knight of pentacles behind how's the knight of pentacles doing girl don't be worrying about the knight of pentacles live your life for you because gemini no one else is going to be able to live your life and no one else is going to be making decisions um that's in gemini's best interest you have to be thinking of yourself first and doing actions for yourself because you know, as the fool, the fool doesn't live for anybody but themselves, darling. You stepping into this new journey. This is your time now, uh, Gemini, to change up your story. You have the chance to change up your story. And, you know, it's kind of up to you if you are going to do that or not. Because free will and all that, right, Gemini? But that is the weekly tarot reading that I have for you this week, Gemini. If you enjoy this tarot reading, darling, let me know in the comments below which cards do resonate with you. Also, um... Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe as well, Gemini, if you'd like to book a private personal reading with me or spiritual consultation. Website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. Uh, I leave it linked next to my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all of it just being Simply Velka, honey. And yeah, Gemini, that is the reading that I have for you, darling, this week. Be sure to make a wish on the 1111 Lewis Court Stone for this week, Gemini, and I will connect with you at a later point, Gemini. I love you so much.